Five one twenty nine. I mean, I just feel like I deserve this drink right now. We all deserve a drink. I wasn't going to drink today either, you know, because Why? I was like, oh, you know, I'm always getting drunk on Tuesdays, and then I have to go home and take a nap because I'm so tired. Because I've been up since five thirty, FYI, right? With sweetie, sweetie. I I just find this mothering thing so hard. It just never ends. And you know what I really resent? I really resent when people say to me, oh, when are you going back to work? Like I am working. Like this is a full time job. I'm 24 seven working. As I open my eyes in the morning, I'm working. I'm working. Stevie's been up since 5 a.m. So have I, so have I. And guess what, everyone sleep when she's sleeping. I can't. I have to sweep up the area that she's thrown all the food all over the place. I have to wash out the bottles. I have to make my bed. I have to fold up her laundry. I have to do all of these things. Like I'm so stressed and it doesn't stop. It does not stop. It does not stop. All I want to do is sit down and watch The Bachelor. And you know what I have to be doing when I'm watching The Bachelor? Cleaning up from the day. The dinner dishes. I just ha It doesn't stop for me. Oh, when are you going back to work? I'm sorry. I'm not one of those super women who can do everything. And you know what is so crazy too? It's really crazy to me how women are expected to do so much. So much. We're expected to have a full-time job. We're expected to take care of a house. And we're expected to raise the children. You think if the father is sick for one day that he can be like, <clears throat> okay, I like, you know, I'm just gonna... You know, no, you think if the mother is sick for one day, she can be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna sit in bed and do nothing all day long. Has that ever happened to you? No, but if dad is sick, guess what? He can sit in bed all day long because guess what? That's how it works. Women have so much on their plate, so much for Mother's Day. Dare, dare Scott give me a painting of Stevie's hand. You know what I want? I want a day where he says, babes, this is you. Go to the spa, get a massage, get a mani-pedi, take out the cheese from the corner of your toe, wax your upper lip. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic and foolishness. But before any foolish, you know, Tracy are talking or Tricky just a talk and she really don't talk the things Tricky. And with, oh with saying that, that women, women bear so much and women have superpowers and there's women, other women who have even more superpowers than what we have, you know. Happy International Women's Day, ladies. <laughs> Clap we yourself. are strong, we are brave, we are everything. Yeah, yeah. Clap yourself, clap yourself. Oh, yeah, big up yourself. So happy International Women's Day to all the women. You know, it doesn't matter how little you think your job is or how menial you think your job is or how big you think your job is. We are all important and we all matter and we all have a role to play and we all mean something to somebody else. So no matter if it's, as Tracy was saying, oh, I'm just here and just cleaning the house and people are asking when I'm going back to a real job. This is a real job. So but let's you know take the time else? to just... big up another woman to recognize yes. the realness, to recognize what other women's contribution is. It may not be the same contribution as, as yours. You. But, but guess it what? Something. It means something. And it, it is probably what they can manage. That's what I want to say. Because you are able to do five or six things and have like that rotation on your plate. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to do five or six things. And that's okay. Like I, I just want everybody to understand that maybe I'm only going to eat salad and chicken. And that's okay. But Jody might need salad, chicken, rice, macaroni pie, and a little bit of tomato. Oh, and ice cream. You see, she needs a lot. I don't need that much. So guess what? Whatever anybody is doing, kudos to you. You're doing a great job at it. You are handling everything that you possibly can. Do your thing. Happy Women's Day. Cheers. Cheers. You're doing a great job. Cheers. With that, this one tastes really good. I'm drinking a spicy mango That's with pineapple. Mine. That's mine. So I can have something spicy? I love the spice. Is your body all alone must on fire? Yeah. I love spice. I love spice too. And this is a strawberry peach lychee ooh, with white rum. Oh, cheers. Booyaka, booyaka. I love Whoa. the spice, you know, I love the spice. I love spice too. Okay. All right. So Speaking just- Speaking of spice, she took a break. From she took a break it. because again, you know, as a human being on, on social media, never mind as a woman, never mind as a woman who is a leader, who is being compared, just as a woman 
Spice needed a break. She needed a mental health break. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she... And that's okay. And that's okay. And I big up Spice for recognizing the limitations and understanding that you needed a mental health break. You know, that's a big thing to like... Understand your limitations. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's a really big thing because a lot of people keep pushing, 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 and going on and say, "No, I need to, I need to, I need to." Mm -hmm. And then you know, sometimes you just need to stop pushing. You just need to just. And it's like I don't take a message to her, and I said, "My bestie, I know you." you I, mean, I sent her a nice little message, and I think that's important for her uh, for her to know that we are supporting her. And sometimes you mm -hmm. will see women out there, some of your favorite social media. Um, personalities they need a break too they need a little love too so with being that said thank you for the people who dropped the kind notes in my um in my inbox i really do appreciate that and the dick pic saucy sass is here hey girl hey how are you all right so just a little update real quickly for all the winners of the jacana prizes i did check on that for you last week um thursday i called um, they did a little repackaging or a little relabeling on the package and they didn't want to send you the old labels because I called again yesterday. Min I'm not running no scam. I'm sending you the tanks. All right. But in all of our excitement for today, I would like to um, reveal or show or, you know, I would like you guys to meet the first cast member of Road Ready. Road Ready, I'm going. Road Ready is going on. Ooh, that game so excited. I got all farty. <laughs> okay, so let's call her in so you guys can oh, ask. Oh, because... to her? Yes. What? But you know me and this thing already. Hold it. Wow. Gonna... I would have... Uh, guys, I didn't do my hair. I, I just couldn't bother today. This is bad head. But I think it looks sexy. All right, hold on. Let me see. Here we go. Is it, is it that easy? The last time we had a problem, you know, you know and I'm not so good with my bed head with my duck lips. Ah, there we go. Okay. Hi! Hi. Hi. I love the clock. I love the, I she love the on, She has on her backpack. I have to come with a costume. I have to come with a costume, of course. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our show, Tuesdays with Tricky. And okay, so everybody who is watching right now, 230 people live with us. They want to know, what is your name? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Amazing. So I am Leticia, AKA Carnival Bay. I love Carnival. If you don't get the name, Bay stands for before all else. It is a near and dear to my heart. And uh, what do I do? Oh my where, goodness. Where are you from? I love to work out. Where am I from? I am Born and raised in Toronto, my parents are from Barbados and Jamaica, so I have a good mix of the soca and the reggae, I love it all, and I'm crazy excited to be on the show, crazy so excited, you, how, so how first often do you ever. How often? Let her finish I can't, I have so many questions. <laughs> it's okay, ask them away, ask them away. So Leticia, do you get to go down to Barbados and to Jamaica often? I've gone, so I've done. I've done crop over. I've gone to Barbados twice, but I've done crop over once. It was amazing. Two thousand and eighteen. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going back as soon as as soon as things open back up. So <laughs> you'll you'll definitely see the videos and the footage. I've gone to Jamaica Carnival as well, and that was actually one of my favorites because I got to enjoy both my love soca and reggae. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So, uh, Natisha, how old are you? You don't ask I'm a woman that. I'm like, hold on, I have to think about it. I was still 31. <laughs> no, I want to ask because I want to know the how like the longevity of her life. My <laughs> <laughs> carnival of life, my carnival life. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know why I asked that question. I have to come with a reason. Cause Jody, we're not really going to grill me. I'm always yeah, like, I hope to live as long as I am able. <laughs> I don't want to struggle. I just, I want to be happy. If I can go to carnival for the rest of my life, I will. <laughs> so there's so many reality TVs, the reality shows on television now, right? And the thing about reality shows that gets viewership is a drama that happens in the house, which I'm sure you're well aware of. How do you think that you are going to fit into the house? And do you foresee yourself as being any sort of character? Like, do you foresee yourself being the strong bitch? Do you see yourself being the kind one? Do you see yourself I love being it. I love it. the... But, you know, the, I am supposed to be the host. 
I know. Jodie, she took over. <laughs> I, I'm working on a job here. Yeah. Whatever you guys were drinking. I wish I was drinking whatever you guys were drinking. I want, I want to share. Um, you know what? I think I'm a mix of both. So I have my, my sweet side. I'm definitely the carnival baby. That is the role that I think I play. But, you know, there's always... You know, there's always someone that you might not get along with, or you might, you know, you might personal personalities might clash, right? It's, it's inevitable. So I could foresee a little, a little here and there, a little drama, maybe. <laughs> Are you dating? Do you I'm have a boyfriend? I'm not encouraging it. I'm not encouraging it, but it's always possible, especially with these type of things, right? And you guys might egg on a little something and instigate to make it a little more. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but Letitia, are you dating? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I do, I do. Oh, so I guess you won't I be do. the um one that is coming home from the fets with a visitor then. No, I won't be. I won't oh. be. I'm definitely I'm I'm the respectful one. Um I definitely make a lot of friends, so you'll see me partying and enjoying myself. I will dance. I'm I'm open to dancing with whomever and, and whatnot. It's a good time, right? It's carnival. Right. But I won't be coming home with any visitors, no. Oh. <laughs> you and I can share a room, you know, because every time I'll, I'll you answer the other a question, of visitors, though. every time you talk, like, you remind me so much of, like, my my carnival self, too. You know, I think we have a lot in common. So if anything, you and I can share a I'm room. I'm so excited to meet you in person. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think it's going to be a time. So we're wild out at the parties, we drink, we have fun, we wind up and down the pill, go on crazy, and when we get home, we're like, no boys, no boys in here, we're done. This is it. We close off time. We are gone to bed. We need rest. <laughs> Goodbye. Exactly, you know. When they come with when they come with the phone and you know, put the phone out to get your number. Oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend, goodbye. <laughs> it's a new role I've had to step into. Yeah. Usually she's the one single at carnival and I have to be like, Tracy's like, I'm just getting his number. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, Letitia. Well, we're really excited to introduce you to everybody on our show, and I'm really looking forward to start filming, to meet you in person, and of course to play mass with you. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited, as you can see. These lips. I know. They I like knew you were going to wear your like... feathers. I'd wear mine too. It's funny because I actually just completed a costume yesterday, so I've oh, been wow. designing. So I'm just looking forward to everything carnival related. So I'm hoping to... I'm excited. We'll catch up soon. Of course. I'm so excited. And thank you for having me on the show. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to keep it on. <laughs> I'm probably going to keep it on. I can't have a drink because I got to go back to work. But uh, I'll, be, I'll be living through you guys. <laughs> All right, Leticia. Great to, great to see you. Great to meet you. Great to have yes. you here. And we'll talk soon. Bye, Letitia. Bye. I'll see you all soon. Bye. See you on Road Ready. Yeah. Oh, oh I like that. I see you on Road Ready. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Guys. I don't know how to hang up. So I have a hang up. <laughs> okay, guys. That was Letitia. That's our first cast member confirmed for Road Ready. So it is happening. The wheels are turning. Would you stop that? Sorry. I'm hungry. The wheels are turning. Things are happening. And Skettle Boom. Oh. Love that name. Who oh, are you? It needs my, my gosh. Life. <laughs> yes, Carnival I keep this year. You never know. Carnival I keep, girl. Carnival is keeping everything. So the, I whis keep. the whispers on the ground out here in Jamaica mm -hmm. is that Jamaica Carnival will be keeping sometime this year, later on in the year. That's the whispers going around. Tom. That's the whispers. That's the whispers. That's the whispers. Mm -hmm. But Trinidad Carnival is definitely a go. Well, our, our plane tickets are confirmed. Mm -hmm. So um mm -hmm. I have been Well it says all of the in all of the things Trinidad kind of 2023 is a go. Yep. So, so get yourselves ready, get yourselves in gear. We need to stop drinking and eating and carrying on. But hey, you know. Speaking oh of God. drinking and eating, you know it's all you have like a candy with a thing, you know? Carnival in J8. Yes, that's correct. So what we have here today. So oh tropical drops. You know, speaking of everything carnival. Oh raspberry pretzels. That's um, cute. Came and Carnival is definitely a go as well. Carnival is keeping. Look here, the man. If anybody hasn't noticed, certain certain viruses have died out. Yeah. We don't really hear anything anymore. Yeah. Poof. No. I mean, actually, so what you got over there? So I have tropical drops, but look at these. These are so cute. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. It looks like a little monster. It's it looks so like, cute. like a tuka. It looks like like Fruit Loops smushed together. Yes. 
And this is a raspberry pretzel from Candy Craze. Mm. A little bit sour, a little bit sweet, very gummy. So just reminding you guys that you can head on over to Candy Craze. They have two locations. One in the new Progressive Plaza over in Barbican and the other one in Fontana Waterloo upstairs. Mm -hmm. They have tons of the, the, what do you call it, the bins on the wall with mm -hmm. candy. And you can just scoop out and you can get yourself an ounce. So you can get yourself a pound. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a wide selection of candies. They have a wide selection of chocolates. They also have my favorite ice cream. Their ice cream is made in Jamaica and it's really creamy, very rich. The flavors are spot on. Mm -hmm. And the ice cream is specially made for candy craze. So at candy craze, you can only get candy craze specialty made ice cream. So it's not available anywhere else. Mm. Put it that way. Oh, I didn't but, know that. And somebody just wrote that these candies are good for Easter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it has the Easter colors. Mm -hmm. I mean, these aren't going to last until Easter. No. Because I usually, by the time the show ends, I would have um, finished everything. Yum, them off. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you have ice cream, they have the um, cold stone ice cream where you can mix in all kinds of things into your ice cream. But for me, like, the ice cream is so good, mm. I don't want to mix anything except Nutella. Yeah, you can mix things in. And you can, of course, have your um, milk drinks. Chocolate are so good. It's a spring water to kind of spit on you again? No. Okay. All right, cool. Gross. Huh? My favorite is the chocolate covered pretzels. I love the yogurt covered pretzels. Those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. the, white, I feel, the white ones. I feel, yeah, I feel like I'm healthy. Like yogurt covered pretzels. Like, you know, when I, I'm on a diet, I have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's wash it down now. I know. So, anyway, <coughs> what else we have to talk about? So, um, oh, so did you guys see that there was another. Did you guys see that there was another accident right by the Rio Cobra big Bridge I by Bagua? I just saw that this morning when the woman went in and saved the man. It's two women that gone in and saved them, you know? I saw. You know how hard it is to rescue somebody? Like if, if No, but she said that the windows were up and locked. All right. He it. was stuck inside the car. Oh, so no. I didn't get to watch the whole video in which she said how she did it. Yeah, how yeah. she saved the man. But like, I just love, for me, to hear those kind of things because it lets me know that there are good people out there still like we hear so much about but i do want to say whenever there is an accident in jamaica the reason why traffic block up and you can't see nothing and you want to know what is happening jamaicans will stop and yes them fast but them want to make sure everybody all right who dead and then you'll see people coming to help, coming to lift up this one, coming to transport this person to, you know, the hospital. And I find that Jamaicans do, they're very helpful people. Oh, Sharika says they use the hammer. Okay. To bang out the glass. Did you know that the headrest? Not in our cars. Mine can't come out. So I actually bought the tool. It's on Amazon and it's called, a, I think if you search car hammer. And it's like a hammer, but the end has a pointed part. So when you just use a flick of the wrist, it will shatter the window. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. also on the other side has a razor blade to cut your seatbelt. Because if you're in an automatic car, one of these fancy cars, once everything starts, the electronics start getting wet, you're trapped. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I always have that right in my glove box. I can reach over, slice my seatbelt, cut up, mom. Because mm -hmm. you have a fancy car. Girl, no me talk about it again. You know me get that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that they should shut down Bagwalk, um, that bridge? Yeah, I don't think it should be used for like so much traffic. Like I do feel that it should be open, but not to trucks, not to big cars. Like, I really think cars like yours should be able to, to go over there. Because it's, um, so for the foreigners who are wondering what the hell is going on, we have, uh, it's a passageway um, along the, I don't think you call it the coast, along the edge of Jamaica. And it's a main thoroughfare to get to the country, I'd like to call it. But there's a very thin, a very small bridge to get from one side to the other. And it really and truly can only hold one car. But I've seen two squeeze on that road. It's very, very dangerous. And to add to the story, there is a, a, a rumor, what do you call it? A, a mystical story that River Muma lives under that bridge. And I, I get in goosebumps. Lord, you really? I yes. Know. I've never heard that. Tracy, what? You've never heard of River Mooma? No, I've only heard of Punky Rock. No, you pass Pum Pum Rock and then River Mooma is right there under the bridge, Tracy. And you have to be careful because 
There's, there was a video once where you could see her tail. Like it was very, it was very strange. It what? Was very, yes, strange. I've never heard about River Mumma. And that's why people keep falling off in there because Rim, River Mumma, I, I don't want to go and eat souls, but River Mumma, yes. You've never heard of River Mumma? No. I swear I live in a different Jamaica from you, you know. I swear I said too. I said Jody, Pookie Loogie by the fancy car. Pookie Boo. Jo Stop, who wrote that? It's too bad. Anyway, as usual, I've come here with my wanga gut. Ooh. All right, talk to me now. Okay. So, I've come here with my wanga gut, mm -hmm. and I have to present to you two crepes from Crepe House. Crepe House in Jamaica. It is located in Devon House. Right as you drive into Devon House, it's on one the of those. Left. It's, yeah, it's on the left, and one of those little um, huts there. So, we have two crepes. This is a savory crepe. And I do believe that this is smoked marlin. Oh, you like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a crepe, if, to describe it, is like a, um, like a thin pancake. And then um, it's bigger, so you can fold up things in there. Yeah. So this one is like... But these are similar. Russian crepes. Ah. So there's different... I guess there's French crepes and whatever. These are Russian crepes. So what makes a Russian crepes different? It's made by a Russian lady. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right. I don't know. But... I just think they're, they're just crepes. I just think it's crepes too. Okay. So anyway, so you have a savory crepe and I have a sweet crepe, which is a strawberry Nutella crepe right here. How oh, come we got that one? Well, I want to switch because I want the savory one to well, switch. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Thank Here, you. take your savory fork. Thank you. Take your, take your sweet stuff. It is like roti. It's not as dry or the, 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 the wrap is not as savory as a roti. It's more on the dessert side and it's a little bit thinner and more pliable but it's it's similar but not quite anyway so wow you're going ham i picked up the whole damn thing what do you want me to do mm. it's good this is very oh, what what fruit is this in there raspberry mm. Mm. not that off mm. strawberry you know what these are very fat too. Right, this is a whole meal right here. This isn't no like little little. Uh uh. We ain't. Mm, God, you know I love Nutella. Mm hmm. I know. Very big bag. I joke. I joke. <laughs> Remember yeah. that time we stayed at that hotel and you could order desserts to go on your bed? the late night menu. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this is Crepe House in Jamaica. They have Aki's crepes. They mm. have what other price is that? Um I think it's like depending on what you want, it can oh, go to add it, 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 it can add, it can add, it can add. But I mean it's regular lunchtime prices, you know. But mm. this is very good. Well, wow, this is this is very, very, very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. The prices for the crepes start at $1,000 and go up from there. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, depending on what you add on. Mm-hmm. 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 Is it a dessert? So the one I have is a dessert. The one Tracy has is more savory, like lunch. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Mm-hmm. Anybody was watching The Bachelor last night? Wow, wow, wow. What's a, what's a, what's a, uh, what do you call it? It's a transition. But I just wanted to talk while I'm eating. Um... So it was the Women Tell All Clayton episode. Oh my gosh, they really went in on poor. What's her name again? So what's her name again? The girl who everybody hates. They went in. Is this a normal size? Mm-hmm. Big, you know. So I do. She's a normal size of crepes. Mm-hmm. What do you watch? Love is blind. Mm-hmm. I watch Love is Blind. Shanae. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, they went in on Shanae yesterday. Dude, I don't know how she didn't cry. Like, literally, the girl is on stage and everybody, including the audience, is telling her that she's a horrible person. And she didn't even cry. She just sat there and took it. Makeup was on point, though, Shanae. Mm. She looked so good. And then when she got up to go to the hot seat, the girls were like, your butt is saggy. It looks awful. What oh, that's girl. not nice. I mean, talk about bullying. It was so... Horrible, but you know, 
Mm. Oh, yeah. That crepe is really good. It's a big crepe too. Yeah, I can't finish it. I helped you. How was your weekend? It was good. It was good. Keep over there. How are you? Oh, it was good. So you don't want to tell anybody? No, no, know? we're good. Um, so I spent the midterm holiday. You know, my sister-in-law and I don't see her lock on. Naughty sister-in-law. We decided to do something special for the kids, and you know what? I should have never done it. I should have gone to somewhere, Aruba, and just done me. You know why? I do everything for these damn kids. When was the last time I left Jamaica or left my house to be like, I'm going to do this for myself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. So we said, but okay. I found that you went on this vacation and did you anyway, like you were at hedonism. Tracy, just... So, so you don't want to talk about it? So full details of why my crotch was out at a family resort will be posted with details and pictures. Not of my crotch. Oh, Winsome is here. Will be posted this week Friday with the outfit with, with everything on Friday on my YouTube channel. Oh, so you're going to tell them. Well, what happened was that, you know, Winsome decided that we're going to our family resort. And I was like, no, girl. Let's go to hedonism, girl. Let's go to Miami. Excuse me. And party on the strip and strip. And when someone's like, no, Jody, you're too wild. We're going to do this for the children. And I went there and I was like, oh, really? Take some chucho, everybody. I just have to see this outfit. So I can't wait till Friday when, um, when it's some fault. It's when some fault. Mm -hmm. When some. What's when some fault? When some. Poor when some. She's always taking the blame. Mm. No, this crepe is really good. I want to buy to that one. No problem. Oh, dear Lord. So we have, so we have lunch. We have our drinks and we have candy. This is a great show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Spain. Hi, Spain. Call me from Spain. Oh, that's <coughs> not a Spanish accent. So, what you want to? What else you want to talk about? So, uh, this was a, um would have been a great transition at the beginning, but mm -hmm. you just is a hug. With all of the different social media platforms, do you find it? very hard to keep up so there's pinterest there's instagram there's facebook there's snapchat there's twitter there's um TikTok, there's there's so many different things mm -hmm. for you to download to see download to upkeep download to is it too much mm -hmm. definitely i can't keep up i don't have TikTok. i can't manage like how much more into people's life do i want to be you know what i mean but TikTok is fun i find TikTok is like the new age instagram mm -hmm. you know I agree with you. And you have to make clubhouse, all that too. It, and I find with TikTok it's fun because you kind of have to make up a little story or you have to make up a skit or you have to put pictures together. Like you have to do something. It's not just Instagram where you're like, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm bored of Instagram, so I do want to move over onto TikTok because I am very bored of Instagram. But I just can't bother learn a whole entire new platform. And mm -hmm. I just feel like every time I want to do something, I have to learn something else. Like you get a new phone, you have to learn a new phone. You get a TV, you have to learn the TV. It's just like everything is all Okay, Grandma. It's just a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. I wish that they would this just... These crepes are so good. They're, I want some of the savory one and you close the box. Can Tracy, please? you hug! No, no, no. I left for you. What are you talking about? You left me the edge. Well, you didn't come in at the beginning. Or Do the I have to cut it or can I hold it whole like a roti? You can, you can hold it. You can hold it. You can hold it. I want this part. Mm-hmm. Go for it. This is really good. What do you think? So you have cream cheese. You have, what is it? So, uh, what is it? Um, smoked mine. Mm-hmm. And pepper jelly. Mm-hmm. What do you think? It's good. It's very filling, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's very filling. I mean, but I don't feel like so heavy like box lunch style you know mm. like i'm not gonna fall asleep at my desk <laughs> the desk you should be working at mm. oh my gosh I let's know. not get tracy started again i know well, miss chen i saw you earlier big up to all the nurses and all the doctors and all the staff at spanish town hospital below below is um, this a dirt so, so anyway no i wanted to talk to you guys about men and see like do you think that men spend more money on their clothes and their appearance than women or do you think it's even 
Because at one point in my life, I remember thinking, wow, girls spend so much money on clothes. But now I have to think, boy, men do spend a lot of money on their clothes and their appearance too. I mean, like, they're very into manscaping. They're very into getting their haircuts done on a regular. They always have to have new, fresh fresh outfits they yeah. they their shoes are super expensive men's shoes are, are very expensive. expensive but the thing is that i find that women have more options for cheap shit you mm -hmm. know what i mean so whereas we can log on to these chinese websites and buy especially like 10 years ago this is definitely my answer 10 years ago women have the option of buying cheap clothes we can go down to all kind of liquor stores and you buy like a like a cheap dress and you dash it away or you restyle it i find that guys don't have as many cheap clothes options as we do you know and then we they, we have makeup and all this stuff they have to make sure that their skin looks nice they have to spend on skincare or their bath soap but do is, they even like scat i don't up. know i don't think so and then they do i do love a guy with a fresh cut like i mm -hmm. love a guy who like goes to the barber up 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 ten me too scott does not know but i love it sean never goes to the barber he cuts his hair himself I beg him. I'm like, could you please go to the barber? Like, it would just look so nice, that liquor, you know? Mm. Scott doesn't go. No, Scott goes, but... Not often, you know? It's not any, 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 like... like it's not like, oh, two weeks, I'm gone, you know? Like, yeah. he's just... He, girl, I know you leave. Mm-hmm. Um, AX, um, our money exchange isn't as good as they used to be. I find that with a lot of things, though, I was just the about quality to say. of a lot of brands has gone down. Oh, my gosh. These crepes are so ridiculously good. I can't get enough. Yeah, like, right. I literally can't get enough of this. Like, why? Why? Why is this like this? You guys, I just want you all to know that these crepes are so good. Alright? Uh-uh. I'm not okay. Is this what you eat enough, though? I know! I'm supposed to be on a diet. You can get this house. These crepes from Crepe House and Devon House. They're right at the entrance when you come in on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. Right at the left. To the left, to the left. They're very good. Every crepe in the box to the left. Mm -hmm. Inside but the wrapping, they stuff the stuff. Shin has stuff for guys too. Shin? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think more of the cheap brands for girls now carry menswear. But is that okay? Like if you knew that a guy was wearing Shein stuff, would that be okay for you? How would you know? Like just how girls wear cheap crap and you don't know what you're going to be like, hey babe, and then flip their tag. What do you mean? I know when girls are wearing cheap crap. You think it's Balenciaga? Balenciaga? What, what did I call it the other day? And Tiffany was laughing. She's like, what? I was like, what did I say? I, I couldn't know. pronounce it. I can't pronounce anything. I mean, like, even when, when girls come out and they have this Balenciaga across their chest, like, seven out of ten times, it's fake. Uh, yeah, well, some, yeah, you can definitely tell, but a lot of guys can get away with wearing, like, a cheap, uh, black plain polo shirt like you don't have to have a logo on it like i promise you I girls can too yeah but i mean like i hate when people wear fake louis vuitton bags and then are rocking it because guess what like it just looks so stupid like why are you rocking a fake louis vuitton like if you can't afford it then just don't like go and buy a bag that doesn't have the stupid corny logo all over it i mean i don't have any louis vuitton bags because i can't afford it you know Mm -hmm. I just don't personally like it. I think that buying brand is something that you spoil yourself with or something that you, you know, for a great achievement, like you finally finish your doctorate or, you know, like it's something that you, and that's at least like a trip, you know, like it's yeah. something that you're supposed to spoil yourself with, you know, so. Well, that's me, what makes a luxury item. It's so expensive right. so that, you know, it's not just an everyday item. It's something that you do spoil yourself with or treat yourself to or is a gift from somebody. So when you start seeing it being mass produced by other manufacturers and everybody has it, it's not as it's not as wantable as it was before. Well, yeah, and I, I love to see like I like I want to see everybody happy and I want to see everybody thriving. That's not my point. But my point is you don't have to wear an L V bag to be happy. And thriving. Like and I just don't like that people have put that attachment behind mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So my question goes back to you know, I wear cheap shit. Like half of my half of my stuff is from Fashion Nova, H and I wear fast fashion. That's what they call it. I right. wear fast fashion a lot. You know, I'm not in the budget that can be wearing these things that are 
I'm not on your budget. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be wearing things that are Amazon or great. Well, yeah, but you know, like, you know, you can be wearing a little bit more selective on your pieces. And I'm okay with that, you know? Yeah. But would you be okay if you saw a guy that was wearing, like, fake stuff? Um. Uh, or would you be okay with a guy? If, would you rather him be wearing fast fashion than fake stuff? Fast fashion. Mm -hmm. And the fake stuff does not impress me at all. And as you said, there, you can tell, you can tell, like, even if you buy it from the best plug around, like, people can tell, people can tell, and there's, like, you know, I see a lot of pictures on Instagram, and I'm like, girl, those seams don't even line up, that is not, that's not how you spell that, and I would rather have seen you in a nice, beautiful red dress than, you know, this, this thing that you're trying to, you know, it's, it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, so you'd rather fast fashion, I'd rather fast fashion any day over, over, like, a bootleg something, like, I'm not, I'm not into that at all so Gabby says um, so Gina Wilson says definitely fast fashion over fake what do you guys think if you think fast fashion type it in if you say um, fake then type it in let, let us know what you what you're thinking because maybe you think and, and if you say fake why like what does that what, what like what is your well I guess too you know because of the exclusivity and you know the 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 um the heart the, the attainability of certain brands you know mm -hmm. you look and you're like wow I wish I could look like that you, you associate looking rich with wearing these clothes and what other people have that you're like you know what I want to look rich too I want to look the part I want to take my bomb picture on the stairs of CPJ I want to look rich so I'm going to go to my plug and buy this Balenciaga shoes and this whatever, whatever. And you take this picture and you look great and you feel good. And you feel like, you know, I'm Beyonce. I have these brand things too. Which bitch is going to know I'm looking good? You know, and what, what are you really going to go with? I'm like, hey girl, you look great, but the C is turned the wrong way. You know what I mean? So everybody here is saying pretty much fast fashion. Everybody here is pretty much saying they prefer a fast fashion. Fast fashion. And you get more. You get more because even... Yeah, you, you get, get a lot more with fast yeah. fashion. And that's what I love about it because the truth is that, you know, barefoot pants is coming back into style now, right? Mm -hmm. And so I don't particularly love a barefoot pants because I'm short. But I'm going to buy two barefoot pants because it's in fashion, right? Yeah. So what I love about fast fashion is that it's so cheap that you can afford to buy it right, and right. throw it away mm -hmm. when the fashion is done. Or you can afford to buy it, Give it away. one yeah, time, yeah, 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 you yeah. know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd, and the thing too is that if I had something fake and I was trying to, to rock it, I think I'd feel, as somebody mentioned, I'd feel so embarrassed. Like, suppose that girl looking at me knows. Like, suppose she's like, um, they didn't make that in that color. I think I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be walking around cars like, oh my God, she knows, she knows, she knows, she mm -hmm. knows. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but own it, yeah. Chada says she loves a knockoff, but own it. All that to girl, own it, own it, own it. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it hard to support fast fashion brands too. I complained about this one time, you know. I complained about that one time, but that is a whole other door I don't want to open today. How tall are you, Tracy? She's short. Tracy's squat. Stop, I'm not squat. I'm well proportioned. I'm 5'2 and a half. Oh boy. Let's wash this down with a little candy. I didn't taste the, um, oh. the raspberry pretzels. Oh, the raspberry pretzels are good. Mm -hmm. anyway, these are you don't so share? Funny. I don't really wear pants either. Isn't that funny? I don't wear panty. Oh, oh, sorry. Is it that you love? Yeah, okay, okay. I was, just, I was just reminiscing on my weekend. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> these are so nice in the middle. Mm hmm, mm hmm. They're nice and gummy, gummy. They're gummy, gummy, but they're very raspberry, raspberry. Mm hmm. Like, so raspberry. Mm. Mm hmm. Teddy says, big up. The Tuesdays with Tricky Crew. Oh, yeah. Kenny, we have to play a carnival again. That was like one of my best carnivals that we played. Mm-hmm. Remember, babe? Babe. I mean, remember, Joe? Babe. Babe. <laughs> Why do they call you babe? Babe? I was thinking about that. <laughs> I don't like all you babes. <laughs> hmm. I was thinking about Scott because that was a carnival that Scott was there. But... We were, I didn't know him, but I asked him to take pictures of me, of us on top of the truck. Remember what? He took those pictures? He took those pictures. Mm. Okay. So funny. Should I tell a real story? What? So Scott was in Trinidad with his girlfriend at the time. 
and Tracy was like, you know, just a little flirtatious. She flirts with everybody that has a penis on the road. You still? You still? You still? She's like, oh, hey, oh, yeah, you're the guy from Jamaica. <laughs> Can you just take a picture of me and my sister, please? So I was like, yeah, okay, so see Tracy here. Come closer. That is a lie. This whole story. Why is that true? That is not true. 876. Two, four, four. No, five, no, I did not. That is not you true. You got it? I take one of me by myself with your phone. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, she wasn't behaving like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I even remember that I, he took those pictures and Scott that told me. Mm -hmm. And Scott that told me, mm hmm. He was <laughs> adding up, mm hmm, when you're talking. <laughs> because it's got really juicy. I think it's like <laughs> swallow my spit. Mmm. Mmm. So anyway, what is the holiday that is coming up? Is it Mother's Day, Father's Day? What is coming up? Um, well, we're in March. Mm -hmm. I have not a clue. What is coming up in April? In March. Well, I know April is around the corner. We have Easter. But Scott, what is in March? Scott's birthday is coming up on the 28th. Remind me to put it in my calendar. Do you have you bought him a present? What, you want me to buy Scott? To I've sent it to you on Amazon. Oh my gosh, fine. Easter, Easter, nothing in March. Scott, get a, Scott better get that treatment for his lady. I know, right? You better buy you something, girl. Oh, St. Patty's Day is coming up. St. Patrick's Day is also Jason's birthday. I was just about to say that's Jason's birthday. How could we? St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. But do, what do we? What do we celebrate in Jamaica? We don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Jamaica. Why won't we? We can, we can, but I'm asking, like... No, we don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I remember but when... But we will celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Yeah? There's anything to celebrate. I remember when Tracks and Records first opened here in Kingston, and um, Patrick, St. Patrick's Day was, was coming up, and remember they have Guinness on tap, or they used to have Guinness on yeah. tap in here? Yo, St. Patrick's Day, turn up in a... Mm -hmm. All who never taste Guinness in them life, drunk in a Tracks and Records mm -hmm. off, of, off, of the, um, mm -hmm. off, of off of the Guinness. But, oh, it's so much more different on tap. It is though, it does taste better. I was like, Anta, what, what does on tap have to do with anything? It does taste nicer when it comes out of the How? Tap. How? Like, pipe water don't taste good out of the tap. Tap water don't taste good. But you tap the Guinness and it's great. No. Yeah, no, I think tap water tastes better than bottled water. What bottled water are you drinking? There's different types. General. There's General. a bottled water that's from the tap. And that one's a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> they extra for the packaging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like tap water though because I find that it has fluoride mm -hmm. and junjo that builds your immunity. Right, right. You know. So um, it was just a post on our page. I was um, I'm getting this information. Tap from. water in Jamaica is actually very good standard. So that's what Lisa Hannah was saying. So we have one of the highest um ratings of nice tap water in the world. How come it is that we don't export more bottled water? Like, bottled water is a big business. Mm -hmm. Like, we should be in there too. Like, you know, oh, do your research. We got the best water. So, you know, but buy I our how much more bottled water companies you want? There's like 876 water. If Rihanna had water. said how much more makeup and laundry clothes, we wouldn't have Fenty. Excuse me, why am I just one big burp? I know. You, just fine, that's fine. Thank God we it's didn't coming out. sardines. Better it come up than it go down. When it goes down, it turns into dry so little just, bits. You're just doing like mini crepe burps? Yeah, yeah. This is spice in the mango, man. It's got yeah. me. Oh, love from Sweden. Thanks, Victoria. Ah, good and good. Yeah, so... Um... What were we talking about again? Oh, the water, tap water. Water, tap water, water, water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I'm at a restaurant, I'm not going to pay extra for the bottle of water. I'm not drinking nasty tap water where you probably mix with your finger and the ice. I'll drink it. It's not a problem. No, I'll drink the tap water in Jamaica, but if I'm traveling, I won't drink the tap water. True, true, true. I'll drink bottled water if I'm traveling because sometimes the tap water in different countries is not as good. Foxy, or... Tony, Foxy Tony says because Jamaica only wants to promote foreign things. You know what you mean? Like you have a lot of Jamaicans where them like them them want foreign things and like them foreign things, they wanna go drink Fiji oh. instead of drinking water or Catherine's Peak or you know eight seven six water. Do you think I don't know, I don't I always, water is my choice for bottled water. If I'm buying a bottle of water, water is my choice. W A T E. I like it. I like it. Mm hmm I like how it tastes. It's because people are intimidated by what they see online and what they expect from the people around them. And if you were some type of 
pity person if you drink tap water i absolutely love tap water and it's purified water it's tap water mm -hmm. girl drink your tap water yeah drink your tap water cheers mm -hmm. fiji is overrated for sure but that bottle looks so cute when you're walking through the airport girl. no but i drink i drink unless i know where i'm going that the tap water is um of a good standard what do you mean yes because water is not from jamaica so where is water from Water is from Jamaica. Water is from Jamaica. W-A-T-A. It's yeah. a single brand. It's Jamaican. It even says on the label. So we would do? Jamaica. Truck down water from somewhere to then bottle it here? No. This, this trip is really good. You're still eating? Yeah. So anyway, um, just want to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. It is that... Are you guys with the impending new curfew with schools going back into action? I mean, my only guess is that the country is going to open back up very soon, right? And are you prepared to be social again? Are you prepared yes. to be social again? Yes. 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 I am. You are? I think, yes, I think that we have done our news i think that we have sat in this closet for long enough we've condemned condemned the people who parted we condemned the promoters we did a whole heap of, and now i'm going to the promoters with my tail in between my legs please give me a ticket i want to get out of here <laughs> uh, but i think i think it's 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 time it's time now i think that we built up our immune systems enough that we can't we can't live like this anymore this is like some animal in a pen living man mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the kids need to go back to school this is two and a half years of the children not in school we're going to see some kind of level of dunceness we're going to see we're, we're going to see a backlash of the children being out of school for so long we're going to see there's going to be a year where it's kind of like what is going on we're going to see it and yes i understand that children adapt and stuff like that but the two years of not learning there's some children that haven't been to school none at all it's going to cause a problem so hold on absolutely absolutely right, 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 right. but i don't want to get in, <laughs> into that right now right, right, what right. i want to say is when the mandate comes that we don't we no longer have to wear masks right because mm. it's coming right? Yeah. Right, right, right inevitably it's coming i mean america just set the whole of them you don't have to wear masks in america anymore right, right? so will you still wear a mask as an option and where will you wear a mask well, what I've really enjoyed is like when I just eat and I need to go somewhere, I put on my mask and I can have the little bits of food in my teeth mm -hmm. to save for later. I've really enjoyed that. Like it's not a sit down in the car and have to dig it out or brush your teeth right away. I've enjoyed that. Or if I have a bump or, you know, I can use my mask. But uh, seriously thinking, I don't know. I mean... Public transportation? Yes. Like in markets. crowded air... Um... My supermarket's not very crowded. I would wear a mask if I have a cold. Because I think now, it, it, to me, I would be conscious about it. And I would be, I think it would be the courteous thing to do for me to wear a mask if I'm not feeling well. Um, when I say fe not feeling well, I mean like if I have the sniffles, not if I have corona. But I think people who aren't feeling well should wear a mask and shouldn't feel any way about wearing a mask. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying that they'll still wear their mask. They're still gonna wear a mask on the plane. So you know, um, I want to say that I'm still going to wear my mask, but I'm also going to be honest and say that it's been very annoying to remember a mask. So although I might want to still wear a mask, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to forget. Mm -mm -mm. Like this is the thing, you know. But I do remember when we used to see all of the Chinese people wearing masks. I'm like, why are they doing that? That's so weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. They, they were setting a the trend. They were definitely setting the trend. They were telling us what was coming. I know, right? They were foreseeing. They mm -hmm. were foreseeing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the mask doesn't mess up your makeup. Like you know, you put your you sure. put it on your makeup in the and morning. Lines and, and then the, the whole inside of the mask gets dirty with the makeup, and it just looks so gross. Couple people said if they were going on a plane. I would too. A, a flight to Miami in a mask is not bad, but if you're flying further than that, you, you're then going to take off your mask for a mask break, and you're going to <gasps> and then suck in everything that you're trying to keep out. I don't know. It's kind of it's it's the mask thing is kind of it's kind of odd, but it, do whatever makes you feel comfortable, which is what um, I'm. I haven't always said, but I'm definitely going to say now. 
Yeah, I mean, um, somebody said, Robin's Faith said that we are going to have a generation of antisocial children. And my thing is, at what age do you think the children started to become affected by this corona thing? Because mm. I think there's an age where they're going to forget. Like, it's going to be something of the past. And, you, you know, children yeah. are resilient, you know? So they're yeah. going to kind of forget and everything's going to go back to normal and blah, 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 blah. But what age do you think was affected the most by this? I would say I think it was the age of 18 years old. Because I remember at 18, I was like broken out going to every party it was such a social time for me and these 18 and 19 year olds just have not had the pip and ting mm -mm. they just not have had the ras they have not had the well those those parties are classic and they haven't had they those have in not years had the but the 18 year olds have been going out like my virgins my young virgin they people have not stopped partying you know it's just um smart ones don't get caught but people have been partying i would say the people who are going to be most affected are the children so you, you go down from the, the the youngest age group coming up so all of a sudden your child starts to go to school or your child goes to a family birthday party and they don't know how to behave you know what i mean they're going to go back to school and there's all of these children now that are going to have these behavioral disorders because they just don't know how to act in front of other people or take some kind of instruction from somebody else who is who is you know in authority so i think that's at, going right up then you have the children who are in school just settling down into learning and then they're at home you know the children who are on path the children who were using school as an outlet so mm -hmm, go somewhere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i know they're at home all day and god knows what's happening with them but y y you know how come you rock so much i don't know you know it's a masturbation thing i keep i don't feel that. not a thing don't they i keep telling you that I don't know. I'm bored. I want to sit up. I want my leg is... How can you be bored when we're on, ta on, on the camera? I don't know. And that's so rude. I'm sorry. No, like I, I, like I need to sit up. Oh, I have a new phone case. Sorry, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. I'm not bored. But like just sitting here in one place, maybe I should stand? Then stand. Sorry. I, all right. So I was trying to rock So how many people pool. out there, right, are going to be ready physically with your summer body when this when everything opens up this summer fingers crossed everything is gonna get open fingers crossed it will be open so uh, yeah it, it will be open so are you guys ready with your summer body who has gained weight and how much pounds have you gained put it down in the put it down in the in the in that's the thing. me you don't it's have to not put it me down i would want to know because i want to know i'm not alone <laughs> So I'm going to start my diet soon because the whispers on the ground, as Tracy says, carnival is coming. So I would like to make sure that my body ready, steady. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, the COVID pounds, they've got to, they've got to migrate. Sure. So she's a hundred pounds. Oh, wait, sure. Somebody Whatever. said 40. Who want to come gym with me? And you know, elephant man called me again. When was it? Monday. And he's asking for me. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back to the gym for a little bit. Ellie said, I'm going to pay my gym fee. Oh, yeah? He better. Oh, Ellie, you're going to pay my gym fee. Ellie, Elephant Man is paying my gym fee. So anytime you see Elephant Man on the road, be like, yo, you're so nice to pay Jody's gym fee. So because he's paying my gym fee, I'll be starting at the gym in short order. Because I have to get this body in gear. So I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Do, 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 do. I need to get this body in order too. I have to let everybody know that I bounced back. Christmas body is more like it, Simone says. My summer body needs to wait a little longer till winter. Come to Cayman Carnival in May. May, May, May. When is May? Oh no, March isn't it? March, we're in March. May Where's when? It? May when? I think it's at the beginning. May when? If it's at the beginning of May, it might be a possibility. Dieting and not exercising will not get you any results. They work in tandem, you know. So you can't be eating. They work in tandem. You need to get your body moving and flowing. Yeah, I know. Because and exercising doesn't mean going to a gym. No, no, no. You can exercise at home. Mm -hmm. You can do the regular little something. And what people tell you if you do that sounds stupid. Park a little further. You know, walk around your house. Go up and down the stairs a couple of times more. The thing that bothers me is that I'm not fit. That's what bothers me the most. I'm oh, not fit. fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't like being not fit. And the other day I was waving. And for the first time ever, ever, I felt that. Mm. You see that? Yeah, but that means that you're happy to see them. Because when you're like, hi. That's so gross. Oh, wow, stop that. I've never had that before. Can do yoga. Mm -hmm. That's just from like having a baby and not going to the gym for two years. 
I want more story times for your time in Denmark. I really enjoyed that. So I actually did film a video um, on more story times from Denmark. We got a lot more pictures. But that I have story times from Friday. when I was in Barcelona. So, so time, then maybe you should like film a YouTube video, so Tracy. one time when I was in Barcelona, um, I was there for a whole entire year and my sister didn't speak to me for part of this year. Didn't come to visit me. Didn't whatsapp message me nothing just left me out and alone to dry to I was dry going rot. through something so crazy. was I so was I in a whole different country at least you had your family I had nobody she wouldn't even come to visit me when I called her to be like hey you know do you want to plan I am busy I am busy doing stuff you know I have a life and I was like oh okay anyway this little wretch then finally my sister decided that she was going to come and I visit me I can't believe they left me and she was like, sell my car, I'm living in Barcelona, and I'm like, you need to come home, like, vacation is over, like, I don't, I don't understand, like, come home. I, hey there. No, it's time hey to come there. home. She's like one of those Jamaicans that take, like, them long vacation there, like, uh, two months, I'm like, okay, it's, it's time now, time now, time now. I mean, you're just being a hater, like, time to come home. Why? Why? Why can't I spread my wings and prepare to fly? She's there messaging mommy, sell my car and send me the money. And I'm like, no. Do you know and they were such haters? Do you know that none of them ever sent me, not even a drop of money? They never sent me a because $10. Because we were like, $10, nothing. Because we weren't encouraging you. She this called time, and she was like, hola, do you know in Barcelona we speak Catalan? And I'm like, we don't care, come home. No, so like, I was like, on the bone of my ass, dead broke. As in I had... As in, I'm not even kidding you, I had under 5 euros in my account. Like, under 5 euros in my account. And I call Jody, and I call Mommy, and I'm like, I'm so broke, I'm so... Do you know what they said? Oh, well, I guess you should come home. I couldn't even afford a taxi drive to the airport. I would have paid full expenses, first class, to all the way home, girl. You did not, though. I still had You to wanted to come home? You never told me you wanted to come home. So then I had to go for her. No, she, no, you didn't have to go. You tried to come for me and it did not work out. So then they had me working these awful jobs over in Barcelona because they wouldn't give me any money to like help me get started. They were just like, oh, well, this is your decision. So you go. You have to go work. You have a European passport. So um, what is it called? Trabajo. <laughs> I know. And I was like, okay, I don't mind working, but you know, I didn't expect to have to work within like the first couple of weeks of getting there. So of course I had these dumb, dumb, dumb jobs because like I couldn't find a proper job, you know? Oh, and then Jody came to visit me while I was doing my dumb job. You didn't even take any time off. Well, how could I? Because I didn't know I was coming home. <laughs> Somebody says, don't forget Tricky Scorner. <laughs> Tricky's corner is not everybody sends remittances for their loved ones. Wow. Okay. All right, everybody. Do we have any giveaways today? Let's save yes, them for we YouTube. We, you want to save them for YouTube? We're going to save the giveaways today. Is it one? Yeah. We have two Candy Craze gift certificates to their location um in <gasps> Nigel is doing a budget debate right now oh my god have to log off real quick see my man in action what does he drive i think he was in traffic in front of me the other morning and uh, tracy he so let me say something i don't know if it was nigel but don't talk about him bad don't all right so if you don't know it was him don't say anything but it was still don't. a handsome black man with glasses he looked tall so he could not drive. Why bother spend all that money on that car and you're going to like stay Nigel, on the brake? Nigel, no, Nigel. Drive up, Nigel. No, Nigel can drive. And he could tell I was pissed off, you know, because he kept looking in the rear view and I'm like going, drive, drive, beep, beep. Going over the hill at his own pace. He's like, why you just don't walk, Nigel? He's enjoying the morning. It's traffic time. Poor Remy goes, me, mommy? I'm like, not you, not you. Oh. Me, mommy? I'm like, drive up. He's enjoying the morning. He's enjoying the fresh breeze. Well, I would suggest that he get out and walk, okay? Because he was, ha and there was a taxi man behind me, and I will want the taxi man to come in front of me, because you know when a taxi man is behind you, you know, them don't ramp, you know? You remember when Nigel and I went on that date? <laughs> Everybody, before, before, before we get in a trace, she did with Nigel. Next time you tell Nigel to press on the gas, right? Okay. 
It's traffic time in the morning. There's no time for sun and banter. I was like, Nigel, honey, honey bunny. <laughs> you went in the same car? <laughs> Maybe something's wrong with it. Time to get it fixed. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on this another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky. Remember when I was thinking about Scott and I called you, babe? We want to thank all of our amazing sponsors today. Our bestie. Lady oh, Bee Mixology. This one was really good. The spicy mango pineapple. It wasn't too yeah. spicy and nice. And, and I had mango. Hints of mango. And then this oh. one was great too. Strawberry lychee. Um, peach. Um, both with white rum. And we have the... We had the crepes from Devon, from from Devon crepe. House. Well, in they're not crepe. from Devon House. They're in Devon House called the Crepe House. Right as you're driving on the left. And of course, we got our candy from Candy Craze that we have to try and eat as much of it now as possible before we go downstairs and see Remy. Mine, mine, mine. And I just want to remind you guys that Kefir is going to be available in CBJ in Mo Bay at the end of the month. So if you want to know the benefits of Kefir, log on. Kimo is a late. Sorry. And log on to Tuesday, to Tuesday with Tricky on Instagram. I'll be posting some stuff about the kefir and the benefits, which I have done before. It helped Jody and with my scalp. baby scalp. And you see, when you're eating and drinking and just carrying on, just need the kefir in the morning to keep things regular, keep your probiotics up, up, and keep the poo down. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining. We will see you next week, Tuesday. Make sure you catch us over on YouTube because we'll tell you what the... How you can win the gift certificate them because we have two of them so you can head on over to candy craze get your candy on get your ice cream on get your milkshake on just get yourself on get your own drive up nigel bye everybody